Okay, everyone, I am back again. This is Bean 4. This is just like a little power box area where another office, officer's duress and I'll, I'll let focus. Officer's duress alarm. And it's not much of the power box. So I'm in the guard area, there's nothing down there. Just being free. So, um, the volunteer was saying this is one the, this is the ones for the criminally insane. Like, they were that insane that. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the pipe. Yeah. Um, most of these cells, I think they'll be really, really small compact because they're criminally insane people. Um, now, I, I'm in the, there's a courtyard next. Okay, this is really creepy. <laughs> um, so, outside the courtyard and there's two other rings. One was for, um, one kept pedophiles at one stage, the other kept Jesus. Uh, yeah, uh, a tip for everyone if I continue my story, please have a torch when you do this stuff and be aware of your surroundings. Uh, back to the story, so there was one ring that had pedophiles and then, and what do you call it, under 18 offenders, so like anyone at the age of 18 um, done a crime, that's just me. Yeah, so that is, if you hear a lot of scrunching, this place does have like falling off paint. Uh, yeah, this is another shower area. And that's so not a creepy um, shower curtain. I suppose there's a shower curtain here because, was this the, this was the room for a criminal insane, right? Yeah, yeah. So you think they had a shower curtain for... Might have been from one of the other offenders with you, maybe for privacy, don't know. True. Because um, these rings were shared, or well, these three main ones, um, if I remember correctly. Still got some names on. Hmm. And that way I won't show the names just for privacy. If I do, then I'm sorry, but... Um, this channel is really old. Oh, yeah. That's the same name from before. Yeah, so... Yeah, but, um... But some of these prisoners were, um, or in this scene at least, that's creepy, were that insane that they couldn't go to an insane asylum. So I guess they, Blood and Iron, some book by Nex McCauley, McCauley. I, I, I haven't read all the books since I was in primary school, <laughs> and that was like 10 years ago. If not, that's the dripping pipe. What's this? Yes, yeah, a bunch of old TVs, mattresses. Yeah, doesn't smell too good in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I thought it was going to slam, but no, those doors are really heavy. Yeah, so these doors you have to use a little force to open. A fridge. Um, a bubbler or some water. This is a really... Okay. This is wood. Okay, I don't know how the sleeping would work for this room, but I don't think it would have been a jail room, like a jail prisoner, because the way it's set up, so they could have held weapons or guards equipment or other equipment for prisoners' work duties. TV and it's plugged in still. You think it'll turn on? You hear that? 
Did you hear that? I heard like a running like. Oh, not in here. Wow. I was saying even this TV would turn on, but it's still plugged in. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it, but I want to cause some sort of power outage in Paramana. <laughs> Another weird looking room. Yeah, this is it. So these were, um, so this must have been the um, equipment and like supplies that they use. Yeah, rubber gloves, plastic. Yeah, they use plastic, not metal. Um, I don't think they would have used ceramic, but says that would have been sharp. Yes, you can say any object can be sharp, you really sharpen it. But I highly doubt they would have um, used ceramic. So we can't go upstairs in this one, eh? Yeah. Alright. I think these are just all the pigging cells. Alright. Oh, there are two doors. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention some of these cells do have. I haven't seen another cells, but I just haven't been paying enough attention. But some of these cells are double doored. So, just for the protection of the person itself and the guard. That's one job I wouldn't want to work as a warden for a prison. Be pretty scary. I guess one's interesting. Moth bucket. Brooms. And that one's broken. That can. No. Probably wouldn't be a shank, it would be too noticeable and um, uh, big. That's some bed frame thing. That's this uh, cabinet. Probably for. You know, this is really big. Yeah, so. They had, they had a little ventilation coming through here, so. They won't suffocate or feel disorientated or drowsy. But, um, yeah. We're gonna head upstairs now because I'm really intrigued to see what the other upstairs um, cells would look like. How would we. Are these the stairs? These ones seem a bit more secure. Just that can of crushed can. Some mud. The up here is really, really dark. Uh, just for an example, this is my torch off. This is our torch is off. Okay. This is it back on. I am not gonna have my torch on. There's a lot of ventilation coming through. There's an electric fry pan on a, a a toasty maker or toasted sandwich, whatever you call it. One three one. Okay, that's not a nice photo. Um, I think that's Britney Spears in a, in a birthday suit. <laughs> okay. Get some newspaper, an old one. Yeah, I know how to pick it up. It'll probably crumble from the age. Yeah, I think these are just repeating. Yeah, okay, this is an interesting because I haven't seen a double bunk bed. This is a different bed model frame compared to the other one we've seen. So I don't really see how to do that, but this one, judging by the looks at it, well, it could have a ladder, but there's only one hole there. So, um, yeah, I don't think, yeah, so I don't think it's my ladder. And, huh. Um, any NRL fans out there? That's, that's too much zoom.
Alright, uh, does an old NRL team ladder. Yeah, there you see, okay, this is where I'm going in. This is the normal cell. I can have a brain, some screen, TV. This is an interesting door. Like a little peephole. Yeah, I might do a little session in here maybe. Looks alright, but uh, I think I'll do another cell. You know, so I'll try to do one session in each cell. Okay, let's turn up creepy. I have a TV frame stream. Is it ready to? No way. There's a string. Paper. Um, there's a cart. Um, yeah. It's a milk box or something. Some box of milk. There's glass. Um, probably for the mercury. Okay, this one's actually really creepy. Because you got a some dental floss or some floss, whatever you want to call it, a uh, water bottle, leaflets, um, TV, mattress, bed, pillow, chair. You know, I might do an AMB session in here because it looks very interesting. Um, I should position them. Here yeah, looks pretty good. My torch is very dusty. Alrighty, hello everyone. K2 meter. Oh, spike, wait. I can spin around. It might, no, it's not spoken on the camera. I mean, okay. If there's anyone in this cell, please spike to red. I'm gonna leave now to sell. Actually, right before I leave, a more question. Um, I don't know what to say. If you want me to stay for another minute or another couple of seconds, please spike to yellow. Oh, we got a spike. Okay, so it's spike to yellow. I'm not gonna back my promise. So, uh, let me check my phone in one minute, so it's 1, 10, 16. If, hmm, I don't know what kind of questions to ask, um, you, you have an idea of what questions I should ask? I could just hear music. What, in, in here? Well, I couldn't tell if it was in here, it sounded like it was in here. We don't need the window very far. Yeah, true. Sound like it's in the and I can hear cars going by. Yeah, okay. Um, that's going to wait the K2 meter well. Okay, a minute has been done. Alrighty. Thank you, K2 meter. Alright, now my battery to the digital voice recorder. These things are good for catching EVPs when you record yourself. Now, uh, yes, you got spirit boxes, ghost boxes, whatever you want to call them. But these are just kind of the main staple to you can use. Actually, the main staple of any panel board technology would be the K2 meter. So, okay, so. Hello, my name is Rodney, and I'm, I'm a full volunteer, so if you want to make yourself known or communicate in any way, I will be happy to listen to your story. Hello, 
this up put it in the camera after Mike can pick it up Yeah guys, uh, when I was uh, doing a little EVP thing, I felt like my jumper was being pulled up. That's so uh, not creepy. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you with the torch. So we'll quickly uh, check through here. Yeah, these are just poor repeating cells. I guess the town is split. Yeah, right, something like a little bit. Like a metallic one, or just a little bit? Uh, it looks like a metallic one, but it's like a big echo. If someone did that, can you do it again for us, please? That's just a car, I don't know. I heard some footsteps from that way. It was like kind of body. We are going to leave this ring now. Okay, let's go. That made my stomach sink. <laughs> can we go up one more level? Uh, Really? Yeah. Oh, I suppose we can check one more level. You don't mind that? No. Thanks. Go up one more level. There's a TV screen in that cell. We'll focus. Pretty dusty. And it's like the old TV screen. <laughs> Just me stepping on the old paint. That looks like a blue doggy poo bag. <laughs> This is me scratching my head. Someone tried hiding some little shanks. I thought you were gone. Oh, <laughs> it's that. Okay. I'm glad I have a long arm because I'm gonna stretch my arm into the cells that I think are good repetitive. This one's Okay, it's just complete my sheet. That looks, this floor looks funny. Don't think people have been in here before. This is a sand, I'm sure. Yeah, it's sand. Something? No. Okay. Yeah, 
creative part for sure. Mm, that's why I can't flush the toilets. Uh, Looks like this cell had to have one TV. <laughs> Without TVs on the floor. I will let you guys go because there's nothing much to check in this screen and I'll see you in the next one.